Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to talk about different ways to prevent yourself from getting hung up and stuck, whether you're fishing around rock, around wood. There are some little things that you can do that if you're aware of, they will help you uh, or prevent you from getting snagged as often. And this is a question I get quite a bit from viewers. Uh, there's a lot of anglers out there that just want to know if the pros are using little tips to prevent themselves from getting snagged so much. Because as we all know, a lot of times you need to put your bait where those fish live. And if your bait gets hung up, you're not offering that bait to the fish that lives there, which means you're going to go in, retrieve your bait, you're going to screw up that spot and probably not get that fish to bite. So from that standpoint, if there's things that you can do to prevent yourself from getting hung up or stuck in the bottom, uh, it's probably to your advantage to do that. And there are definitely some things to be aware of. Uh, you know, generally speaking, I would say most people out there are just going to say, you know, hey, if I switch baits, I'm going to get stuck less. Or if I throw a weedless bait, I'm going to get stuck less. And absolutely, that is the number one thing that you can do to prevent yourself from getting hung up. And that's simply use a bait that is weedless. And when I say weedless, I mean the hooks are covered. Whether that's a Texas rig, whether it's a jig with a weed guard, uh, maybe it's even a, you know, a, a vibrating jig that's got a weed guard built in or it's got a hook that's on it that allows you to rig a Texas rig style plastic. Uh, generally speaking, if you can throw a bait that is weedless, that is by far the number one thing that you can do. But a weedless bait isn't always the one thing that you want to be throwing in some of these areas. So from that standpoint, I've got some other suggestions for you. Uh, the first thing that I like to do if I'm fishing, say, around rock or wood and consistently getting snagged, even if I'm throwing a weedless bait, is to go to a lighter bait. Uh, so let's say I'm throwing a half ounce jig and that half ounce jig is getting caught on the bottom. I'll downgrade to a three eighth ounce size jig or even a quarter ounce jig because really what you want is you want your bait coming over the objects and not getting wedged down in the cracks. A bait that comes through those objects smoothly looks much more natural like a crayfish versus a bait that's going down getting stuck in a crack in a rock or getting stuck in the you know some branches that are down there. You need to be able to bring your bait through smoothly. And going with a lighter size bait is one of the easiest things that you can do to help with that. Uh, and generally speaking, I would say that you're a lot of times you're when you go with a lighter size bait, a lot of times the baits generally get smaller. But if you can avoid doing that, that's to your advantage as well. So the second thing I would highly recommend is to go with a bigger bait. So even if you can if you want to be throwing a half ounce size, try to make your bait or your profile bigger and bulkier. You know, if I'm throwing a jig and I'm getting stuck with a half ounce and maybe I don't have a three eighth ounce to downgrade to, put a bigger trailer on. Try putting a uh, creature, a creature style bait instead of a chunk style trailer. Something with a little bit more bulk will not only let the bait fall slower, which prevents the bait really from driving down into the bottom to get stuck, it also tends to create a bigger area, and if you've got a small crack and that bait falls on it, instead of it going down in the crack, it'll sit on top of it. So if you can bulk up your bait, that's another way to do it. Uh, so either you go with a little lighter size bait or you bulk the bait up. Those are two kind of the same sort of thing. A lighter bait falls slower, a bigger bulkier bait that's the same weight that you were throwing also falls th uh, slower and kind of just prevents you from really jamming down into some of those nooks and crannies that really just are the ones that catch you every time. Uh, another simple tip you can do is throw those baits on a little heavier line. So the heavier line is going to do two things. One, it'll slow your fall up a little bit. Generally speaking, it also keeps, uh, it allows you to pull your bait more vertical when you're working it because the line doesn't sink quite as easily as say a lighter line. Uh, so that's to your advantage if you're fishing heavier cover or around a, a snaggy style bottom. Uh, the other thing it does is it helps you pull that bait free easier than, say, light line. You know, if I'm throwing a, a light finesse presentation on 6, 8, or 10-pound test and I get stuck in some rocks, 
I might not be able to pull that bait free as easily as I would if I was, say, throwing 17 or 20 pound tests. So it allows you to retrieve the bait better. And generally speaking, it just helps you prevent that bait from getting hung up quite as easily. And then just, you know, the, the last thing really has to do with the presentation of the bait. So generally speaking, if I'm dragging something on the bottom, I like to have my rod tip pointed towards the water, I'm dragging, and I'm really trying to create as much bottom contact as I can. That, unfortunately, is one of the things that will create the most snags. Because I've got my rod tip down, I'm really trying to drive that bait into the bottom, and therefore I'm helping my bait find some of those nooks and crannies that are going to get you snagged. So, a counter to that is to keep your rod tip up. So if you've got a bait that's still making good bottom contact, try to drag with your rod tip up. That's something that, again, will have your line coming to a, it'll be coming at you at a higher angle, which wants to help your bait ride up and over those objects versus when you have the rod tip down, you're really pulling that into some of those objects. So if you can retrieve the bait with a slower dragging motion, but have your rod tip pointed not necessarily straight up in the air, but pointed away from the water versus at the water, you're going to find that you get a lot less snags from that standpoint as well. So just some simple adjustments in your uh, technique, some si simple adjustments in the uh, terminal tackle or the objects that you're using, the different baits that you're using, really can take you from getting snagged in some situations, unlike every other cast, to very infrequently. So don't necessarily think if you're getting snagged, you know, that there aren't things you can do to help you fish basically the same bait in those areas, because there definitely are, uh, like the ones I just suggested to you. So let me know in the comment section, do you guys have other tips that anglers can use to help prevent them from getting stuck as much as they are? And if so, throw that in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for another tip coming out tomorrow.